the 21-0 run in the third quarter. Did you guys do anything different defensively after halftime, or was it just a, a strange occurrence? Yeah, not really. Uh, we didn't have to discuss too much here at the half. I know we were only down three. Um, we had missed some easy looks on the offensive end, so defensively we, we were pretty tight. Uh, I think we just started executing a little bit better offensively, and then the defense was just kind of you know sustained there in the third quarter, which you know, allowed us to balloon the lead a little bit. That was kind of emblematic of what you're hoping to see. Some stops maybe can lead to some easy baskets. Yeah. I mean, that's the key for us. You know, we, we need to become a much, much better transition team. Um, and the only way we're going to do that is, is to uh, start getting more stops. So um, that was very welcoming to see uh, for us to put together a defensive effort like that that kind of allow us to just dictate the game a little bit. We've always been on the reverse side uh, so often. So uh, hopefully we can uh, carry some of that over to Friday. We've got this homestand now. Is it time to ask you this this morning? Time to kind of get things right and put, yeah. put together a run? Yeah. Uh, I think a team rhythm right now would be really important uh, before we head out on that West Coast uh, trip. We're not looking too far ahead. We got some, obviously, some quality opponents coming here over the next uh, four games. So uh, we'll be locked in and um, you know, defense will, will continue to be the key. Mm -hmm. When they went that long without scoring in the mm -hmm. second half, did you see that frustration? Was it visible? I didn't really notice it. I know we came out in the third quarter and scored about eight to ten quick points, and uh, I remember us being up six, up eight, up ten. Um, you know, but it was kind of weird there uh, to kind of push it to twenty the way that we did. Um, there might have been a little frustration on their part. They missed a lot of easy shots around the basket, and you know it's basketball. It happens sometimes. How about you? You got contributions up and down the lineup. Yeah. Bench and sorry. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was a team effort tonight. Um, bench came in and did an unbelievable job. Uh, the starters put in a lot of work in, in, in some other areas outside of scoring. Uh, I think Glenn had 14 rebounds and things of that nature. So you know, those are the those are the things going to allow us to be successful. Some of the rookies, uh, rookies yeah. come from up there too. Uh, Andrew, Andrew, and, and, and Mo. Mo ran the floor well. Had some some nice finishes at the rim. So I was. Uh, excited for uh, both of those guys, and even the guys who finished the game, they finished it strong. Paul, you mentioned that you guys. You and the veterans saying the same amount, or is it better not to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And keep, First him, start. keep him calm. He did a good job tonight, though. Uh, I thought he picked his spots. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't force the action. He played within himself and um, well, he tried his best to rebound and, and, and follow his assignments defensively. Remember the first start you ever had? I do. The first game of my career. <laughs> Who was again? Uh, Miami Heat. Yeah. How'd you do? Did all right. I was solid. Yeah. <laughs> Three points, oh, well. one rebound. <laughs> uh, Nerves? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was fun. You see a kid like Mo trying to feel his way around still. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got veterans out there with him who are used to the Yeah, no. Ball. You know, he's got a calm demeanor about himself, mm -hmm. and uh, he doesn't seem to get too excited or too antsy about anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel like he's putting any pressure on himself one way or another, so uh, you know, he's on the right path. What, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm just going to eat. I got my mom and sister here, so I'm going to just eat, eat with them and uh, rest my body a little banged up. Happy Thanksgiving.